Developing an HIV vaccine has been one of the toughest challenges in modern medicine. The ultimate goal is to create a vaccine that can prevent or even cure HIV. But is it really possible to achieve an effective HIV vaccine? In this video, I'll answer that question and explore why this has been such a difficult goal to reach and what scientists are doing to finally crack the code. One of the biggest hurdles is that HIV is a master of disguise. The virus mutates rapidly, producing countless different versions of itself even within a single person. This makes it incredibly hard for the immune system and for vaccines to keep up. Unlike diseases like measles or polio, where the virus stays pretty much the same, HIV is constantly changing. This means a vaccine needs to be both smart and adaptable to offer reliable protection. To make matters even trickier, HIV has a sneaky way of hiding in the body. Once it infects a person, it integrates its genetic material into their cells and can lie low for years. It's like the virus goes into stealth mode, making it almost impossible for the immune system to detect and destroy it. For a vaccine to be truly effective, it would need to prevent the virus from taking hold in the first place, and ideally also find and eliminate these hidden viral reservoirs. By the way, if you're finding this information helpful and want to stay updated on the latest breakthroughs in medical research, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. You won't want to miss the next big news update. Another complication is that unlike many other infections, natural immunity to HIV is almost unheard of. Most of the time, when someone recovers from an illness, they develop lasting immunity which serves as a great blueprint for creating vaccines. But with HIV, the immune system never fully clears the virus. Even people who manage to control the virus naturally, known as elite controllers, don't achieve the kind of immunity needed to prevent reinfection. This means scientists can't just replicate a natural immune response in a vaccine. They need to think outside the box. On top of all this, HIV targets the very cells that are supposed to help fight off infections. The virus primarily infects CD4 plus T cells, which play a crucial role in coordinating the immune response. It's as if the virus is attacking the command center of the immune system, making it even more challenging to design a vaccine that can boost immunity without giving the virus more targets. Despite these challenges, researchers are making exciting progress with several promising strategies. One potential approach involves broadly neutralizing antibodies, BNABs. These special antibodies, found in a small percentage of people living with HIV, can tackle many different strains of the virus. Scientists are exploring how to design vaccines that teach the body to produce these powerful antibodies. Early trials are showing real promise in reducing viral loads and preventing infection in high-risk groups, offering a glimpse of hope. Another innovative approach involves mRNA technology, the same kind used in some COVID-19 vaccines. mRNA vaccines work by delivering instructions to the body on how to recognize and fight the virus. The beauty of this technology is its flexibility. mRNA vaccines can be quickly updated to match new HIV strains, giving researchers a powerful tool against the virus's constant evolution. T-cell-based vaccines are also gaining attention. Instead of focusing solely on preventing infection through antibodies, these vaccines aim to train the immune system to recognize and destroy HIV-infected cells. This approach might not stop infection entirely, but it could help keep the virus in check if exposure occurs, offering a valuable layer of defense. There are also exciting developments with mosaic vaccines and viral vector vaccines. Mosaic vaccines are designed using pieces of HIV from different global strains, providing broader protection. Viral vector vaccines use harmless viruses to deliver HIV genetic material into cells, sparking an immune response without causing an actual infection. Researchers are even testing combinations of these strategies to boost their effectiveness. Therapeutic vaccines are another interesting area of research. Unlike traditional vaccines that prevent infection, therapeutic vaccines are designed to help those who are already living with HIV. These vaccines could boost the immune system, allowing people to maintain low viral loads without needing daily medication. It's a potential game changer for improving the quality of life for millions of people. What's especially exciting is that scientists aren't just betting on one approach, they're combining different strategies 
to improve their chances of success. Imagine using BNABs along with mRNA technology or blending T cell and antibody responses into a single vaccine. This kind of multi pronged approach might finally help us overcome the many obstacles that have stood in the way of an effective HIV vaccine. So, back to the big question Is it possible to achieve an effective HIV vaccine? The answer is yes, there is real potential. While there is still much work to be done, each new clinical trial brings us a step closer to a world where HIV is no longer a threat. The dedication of researchers, the advancements in technology, and the hope of communities around the world are all pushing us toward this incredible goal. The idea of an effective HIV vaccine is no longer just a dit hope. It's a real possibility that could transform millions of lives. If you've made it this far, Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when the next big breakthrough is announced. Stay curious, stay hopeful, and I'll see you in the next video.